atrocious thoughts every child will fear. Oh, dear. Rock! 
Is this where you live? You see that house up at the top of the hill? That's where Sponge and I live. And where will I stay? Um, oh, you see those, you see those stairs, the ones leading down and into the dirt cellar? Yes, Mom? That's where you'll stay with the rest of the creepy crawlies. What you got in that suitcase? Well, it's nothing, really. I, for one, would love to see what's inside. Wouldn't you, Sponger? I would. Show us what's in the case. I show us what's in the case. But show us what's in the case. That's it. That's all you've got. A pair of glasses and a scarf. Well, I for one rather like this scarf. Hey, Spice, 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 Spice. These glasses make me look smart. That's unlikely, dear. Oh. <laughs> May I have them back, please? They belong to my parents. About that, how stupid do you have to be to get eaten by a rhino? In broad daylight, mind you. My parents are not stupid! Careful! I'm so grabby, I'm so grabby. Now listen here, beast. The only reason we claimed you was because we need some extra help around here. Oh, yeah, 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 and then the money spikes. We get 27 pounds a week. 27 pounds ain't enough to cover his room and board. You want to have to pull your weight around here. Understand? Yes, Mom. Good. Now I must think of something useful for little yard monkey to do. Is that the seashore? Way down at the bottom of the hill? That's the that little bits cut down that wretched old peach tree. It's all spikes and crawling bone. Look! It's my old house! And my friends! Playing by the sea! Do you think we could go? Go where? To the seashore. Whatever for? I'd like to see my friends. Not when there's work to be done. Now, wait a bit, guys. <coughs> it is extraordinarily hot today. The seashore may be exactly what we need. James, run inside and grab the painting basket from the bridge there. It's chock full of lovely bites, perfect for a day at the beach. Yes, Mom? You did make extra sandwiches, didn't you? Of course I did, Spongy. Oh, a day at the beach sounds delightful. All those men. Like a ball of muscles. Sandwiches! We'll change your bathing costumes at the beach. Now we need to. What bright old blooming spiders wear? But I told you that peach tree was full of vermin. Don't you stand there, Gorky? Help me! Oh my god, don't move! But there's a huge ball full of big spider right on top of your head! Look out! Ah! Oh, Mr. Stanley, 
unimportant. Who are you, James Henry Trotter? Don't you know my name? No, but your name is inconsequential. You come any close of a scream for my aunt! And what makes you think those two hideous creatures would come to your rescue? They're my family. Huh? Since who? That's what I've been told. Ah, uh, but do you think so? And there it is! The very first primordial ooze of an inkling that is the potential to turn into so many other phantasmorific things! Aha! James Henry Trotter, it's time you raised your expectations. That then, right over there, contains something remarkable. Take a look. What's in it? Well, it's most certainly not a Ferris wheel since that wouldn't fit the bag and well, it couldn't be a kitten, because the bag is out tight. Oh dear, what, what if it is a kitten? You should really go check, and soon! You'll stay there. I promise. It's heavy! Whoa! Jeez! Are you willing to reach into the great time dump and see what bizarre adventures the universe has in store for you? Spells, wish makers. Now all you need to do is take a fish from the book, devour it, and fabulous, unbelievable things will happen to you. Spectacular, spectacular things. The carver's concoction can be purchased at the auction. Can be plucked from any shelf in any
nursing our sunburns. I know we go to the sea shop. Sea shop by sunburn. I tell you, and you didn't do a single thing we asked you to. What a lazy, good for nothing, waste of flesh he turned out to be. We should put him down the well. Let him reflect on his misgiving. Down the well he goes. No, please, no, I'm scared of the dark. I'm afraid of centipedes with thousands of stinging legs crawling down the backyard now. Where's Mudge? Or how about flesh eating earthworms with him in between your toes? Sponges. If that's what's going for you, the bottom of the well. Spongy! What is it, Spiger? Look up there, in the peach tree. What is that? <laughs> Tree ain't had so much as a peach, let alone a blossom in years. Remember the crocodile's tongues reached first? After all these years, that tree finally grew a peach. It's strange, isn't it? Aunties, look! Holy devil! The peach? It grew! How is that possible? I have no idea. Alright, what we should do is. Oh, wait, look, Spikes, look! It's growing even larger! What do you want? What are we gonna do with it, though?
deliver is that peach. That seems easy enough. It's wonderful. I will be in magazines, all of my gardening books, be on TV, maybe even in movies. Do you think we could perhaps take a trip or go to the seashore? We ain't doing nothing. But it was me that made the peach grow. Liar. But I did make the peach grow. You could make my toenails grow. But, James, can you do this for me? Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, James, whatever, Trotter. I, James Henry Trotter. Am a worthless, selfish, lying little boy, and no one will ever care about what I have to say. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever, ever, ever. So keep your worthless little lying ideas to yourself. Hey, Sponge, what do you think of my new skull? Oh, it's not nearly as lovely as my new glasses. Oh, dear. Look what I've done. Stop! No! Now listen here, James. Lying little helper monkeys must be punished. So from now on, you will sleep outside. Sleep tight, little maggot. Oh, and should you think of trying to run away, just remember, you can run, you can hide. But we're the only family you've got! <laughs>
Alright, Emma, alright? Alright, okay. I'm not sure. I think fun. I think fun! I can see it on Ladybug. I shall never be the same again. James, I've used my work to skin this ladder. So to be a dear and climb up and take a look. You can spin a ladder? Of course. Whoa. What is it you see up there, James? You must come see for yourselves.
think, thankfully, a tad bit over my ideal weight, and the peach was soft and ripe. It rolled right over. And then it rolled away! Far, far away! Spikers, the boy, what's become of him? Who cares? He's probably dead. But don't you think it's strange that the boy and our peach disappeared on the same night? We've got to make a problem for the boy. Did you read any of them contracts we signed? Only the parts about money coming in advance. Do you know what in advance is? Yeah, it's all the money we get from signing them contracts. It's money paid in advance. In advance of what? Of the miracles of promises we made! From the scenes! Two new appearances! More please! Can't do any of them without the bloody giant peach! <laughs> so this is bad. <laughs> Worse than bad, you twist! I we could go to jail! Oh, no, 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 no. I can't go to jail. The food is wholly unacceptable. Such a sophisticated panate, such as mine! Snoring. What? 
What's going on? Why did the human say my name? We were talking about those horrible women. Spiker and Sponge? Tell them what happened to you, Sophie. Blah! Who cares? We're sharing. Fine! Picture me. Not much more than a larva. A wee lad of centipede. I was helping my mom and dad and granddaddy put the final touches on a set of custom boots for the king of the giant centipede. One hundred mid-matching cow lace-ups made of iridescent jewel beetles with purple laces. These boots were unbelievable. My family, we're pretty big in the socks and shoe racket, and we're pretty famous in the bug world. Oh yes, yes they are. But, just as I was putting on the final touches, there was a flash of light, and then the room was filled with poisonous gas. My granddaddy pushed me to safety! But no one else made it. My mom, my dad, or even granddaddy. Well, they were all fumigated by Spiker and Sponge in the great raid of 59. Those two monsters ate everything, even <coughs> ladybugs. Who doesn't like ladybugs? I like ladybugs. Spiker and Sponge were horrible to everyone. Spiker and Sponge were no different than any of you humans. Sympathy. <laughs> James is one of us. That is a human boy. His kind pulls up her legs or burns us with magnifying glasses. He is not one of us, and he will never be one of us. Ignoring you know James type of And your type are snobs. James, you haven't said anything about your parents. Where are they? Yes, they must be very worried about you. It's all right. You can tell us. My parents were in a horrible accident, and now they're gone. Oh, James, I'm so sorry. And that's why I was sent to the Spiker and Sponge, so I could be with my family. <laughs> they certainly didn't act like family. I'm just fine. And patient, they love you, but your boy, poor girl. Or my baby, so. <laughs> James. I've lost my family as well. That's why I miss them. Exactly. I miss mom and dad every second of every day. Of course you do. James, your parents are with you always.
What in heaven's name is that? That's what? Out there, in the ocean. What? It looks like... Wait a minute. A giant peach! <coughs> That's our peach! And that's James! I was right, Spike's little beast stole our pitch! James Henry Tretter, bring us back our pitch! He can't hear you. And who are those people with that little boy? Like, they look like giant bugs. How is that possible? A giant peach is going to attract giant bugs. That's <laughs> so... Is it she so smart? What are we gonna do though? Call the army! Call the air force! Call the bloody marines! We don't let the whole world know that dear Tommy! <laughs>
one day soon that humans gonna get sick of playing with the buggies, and that'll be that. Squish, splat, zap. Whoa, beef. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 
returning home with us forever and ever. After we fumigate the buds, of course. Unlike any family ever. And I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> 